Are you thinking about moving to Toronto? Well, I'm here to give you the pros and the cons of living in Toronto. And the biggest con is probably going to be a surprise to you because it's not the con that most people think of. So let's get right to it. My name is Connie Sarvanandan and I'm a real estate agent here in Toronto and the GTA. If you have any questions about moving to Toronto or real estate in general, feel free to call, text, email, or WhatsApp. I'll be sure to get back to you because I love helping people out and I love living in Toronto. So with that, let's get to our very first pro. So one of our biggest strengths is our diversity. In fact, the City of Toronto's official motto is diversity is our strength. More than 50% of residents who live in Toronto were born outside of this country, which means that diversity plays a huge role in almost everything we do. So why is diversity so great? Well, first of all, the food. From a restaurant standpoint, we have food from all over the world. We have world-class restaurants with every cuisine you can think of. And we have a variety of options. So you can get street fair or you can get fine dining and it's available for every cuisine you can think of. The other big thing when it comes to food is grocery stores. Grocery stores ensure that they carry products that reflect the population. So if you're worried about coming to Toronto and you're not from here and cooking home favorites, you should be able to find every ingredient you need to make some of your favorites. So uh, diversity when it comes to food really makes a big difference in the city. So another big thing about diversity is the culture and entertainment. We have culture and entertainment from around the world. And I'm not just talking about countries, but I'm also talking about interests. So if you are interested in it, we have it reflected in Toronto. So we have the Jazz Festival, we have the Dragon Boat Festival, we have uh, Pride Week, we have the um, uh, Caribbean Festival. You name it, we have the Santa Claus Parade. We, you name it, we have some sort of arts and entertainment that reflect it. We also have artists from around the world who love coming to Toronto because of its diversity. So diversity is definitely one big pro. So one of the biggest cons of living in Toronto is our cost of living, particularly housing. So the average cost of a house in Toronto is about a million dollars. So it is quite expensive. But remember, that's the average cost. So that includes your most expensive houses in Toronto and your cheapest houses in Toronto. So there are ways of finding things that are much less costly within Toronto. And there's definitely options outside of Toronto in the GTA. So the GTA is the greater Toronto area and it includes all the cities that surround Toronto and people live and work throughout the GTA. So it's very common, you know, to live somewhere outside of Toronto and work in Toronto. And so there are cheaper housing alternatives as you leave the city core. Um, so it is definitely a con, but there are ways around it. Another pro is our education system in Toronto. Toronto has great schools, whether it be public schools or private schools. Private schools are schools that you pay for, and we have some of the best in the country in Toronto, and best in the world, quite honestly. And then public is a government-funded education, so they are free to residents of Toronto, and Toronto has some great public schools as well. So the beauty of it is that you are going to get a great education no matter where you go in Toronto. And interestingly enough, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development does an annual survey of the most educated countries in the world. And Canada ranked number one in, on their survey. And that's because 56% of our population has tertiary education. And what they consider tertiary education is education beyond high school. So it could be a certificate program, it could be a secondary degree, it could be a bachelor's, whatever the case may be, they did something beyond high school. And 56% of our population has done that, which really speaks to the base education that all of us receive, um, whether it be private or public. So schools is definitely a pro of living in Toronto. 
Okay, so let's talk about the con that most people think of when they think of Toronto, and that is the weather. So for sure, we are a four season country and we are a four season city, which means we have spring, summer, fall and winter and winter can be cold. There are a few months where we're hovering around zero degrees Celsius or 20 degrees Fahrenheit for a few months. Now that said, there's also an additional probably four or five days a year where it's so cold that I don't want to go out at all, but that's me. So I came to Canada when I was four years old from Sri Lanka. And I swear my body remembers being born in Sri Lanka because I get cold all the time. But my husband, who's French Canadian, does not get cold. So even those five days where I refuse to do anything but just go to work and come home, he will do stuff outside, he'll go skating. My kids will do the same. They love tobogganing. They love um, all the outdoor activities in the winter. So it's really a matter of perspective, but you have to be prepared for a country that has four seasons. And the beauty of the weather though, is that we have all kinds of activities that you can do in the winter. So, you know, we have outdoor skating rinks, we have skiing um, north of us, and we also have some small ski hills even in the city that you can learn. All of our shops and restaurants are prepared for this kind of weather. So there's all kinds of festivals and things that you can participate in in the winter. So yes, it's definitely cold and we are definitely a winter city, um, but there's lots to do during the winter. Another big pro to living in Toronto is our employment and employers. So I talked about diversity when it came to the population. Well, we also have diversity when it comes to employment, which is great because we are not reliant on one type of employment or one type of employer to keep us afloat. So if one sector of the economy goes down, there's all kinds of different sectors for Toronto to fall back on um, when it comes to jobs. And if you look at our employers, it's across the board. So we have banks, we have telecoms, we have a lot of government jobs, because remember a lot of things in Toronto are government funded from like healthcare, to our school system. So lots of jobs there. We also have retail and all kinds of other jobs. The other big thing about Toronto is our tech sector is growing and booming as the city of Toronto is doing all kinds of incentives to bring startups to the city. And um, you also have big companies who, are, who have announced that they are opening up offices in Toronto, which include most recently Amazon, and Netflix and Reddit. So having a diverse employer and employment base is really a big pro for Toronto. Let's talk about the biggest con and the biggest con for me is commute time. Now that is usually a big surprise to a lot of people as the biggest con, but commute times in Toronto can be awful. It can be up to an hour and sometimes more. And um, the thing about commute times is it might not be as big an issue because of COVID. Um, a lot of companies have changed their work from home policies, so you may not have to go into the office as much, but still commute times can be a pain. And the reason why is there's three reasons. First of all, it's not just Toronto, it's the GTA. So there's Toronto as a core, and then you have GTA, which is the cities that surround Toronto. And all those cities form the greater Toronto area, the GTA. Now it's not uncommon for somebody to live in Toronto and work somewhere in the GTA or for you to live in the GTA and work in Toronto. It's interchangeable and oftentimes you may start a job in Toronto and then get a job in Mississauga or get, get a job in Markham. It's very common. So because of that, you're not just talking about Toronto, um, within itself. And so there's more commute time, the further out you go to work. That's the first reason. The second reason is our subway system. Our subway system is actually pretty good. It's clean, it's safe and, um, fairly reliable. But if you compare our subway system to other major cities like New York or Paris, our subway system is quite small compared to them. 
So what happens is that you will end up taking buses versus subways. Now the TTC runs throughout the city and they have subways and buses. But if you're taking buses, buses generally take longer and you're gonna be doing transfers. And so it's definitely adding to your commute time. And then the third reason why commute times are bad is construction. We have construction everywhere. No matter where you go, you're gonna face construction. And we have construction for new developments. So tons of new condos going up throughout the city. So there's construction there. We also have construction for infrastructure. So the city is trying to address the lack of subways. So we have some new subways coming in as well as light rail and some other things. And then finally, we have um, construction to fix potholes and things like that. Things that happen in winter countries where there's damage and you have to have construction to fix that. So construction plays a big role in commute time as well. So that's my biggest pain is uh, commute time. I've done it all these years, so I'm used to it, but it is a bit of a surprise when you get here, especially if you're coming from a smaller area where you, know, you can have 10, 15 minute commutes. Now that said, you can definitely choose to live near your work. I have lots of friends who have decided to do that. So they bike and walk to work. But if you decide to not live near your work, you should look at the commute time. And now to the final pro. So the biggest pro I think we have in Toronto is really our safety. And when I talk about safety, I'm not just talking about our personal safety. I'm talking about overall safety. So The Economist magazine does an annual ranking of 60 global cities on safety, and they rank them across 72 different attributes across five categories. And those five categories are digital safety, infrastructure safety, personal safety, health safety, and environmental safety. And Toronto ranked number two on the list, right behind Copenhagen. So what does that mean really? What do those measurements mean? It means that when you come to Toronto, you're gonna to feel safe, not just from a personal standpoint, but your money is gonna feel safe in our banks. Your human rights are gonna feel safe within the laws and governments of our country. Um, everything about Toronto uh, means that you're gonna feel safe. Now, of course, there's crime. Of course, you're, there's going to be things that aren't perfect. But overall, you come to Toronto, you can make a good living, you get to make friends, you get to raise your family, and you feel safe doing all those things. So that's definitely the biggest pro of living in Toronto. And I have to say, I grew up in Toronto. I've lived throughout the city. I've been a renter, I've been a homeowner, and I've been an investor. I've also lived outside of Toronto and I've also lived outside of the country. And Toronto has a special spot for me because I do believe it's one of the greatest cities in the world. And if you have any questions about Toronto or would like to know anything more about moving to Toronto, feel free to reach out to me, call, text, email, or WhatsApp, and I will be sure to get back to you. So thank you once again for listening and watching. And if you found this video helpful, please click the like button. It really helps me and also subscribe. And that way you'll know when my next video is coming and it's, I'm going to try and get out a new video every week.